Hello and welcome to Draw Plus. The Flood tool is an incredibly useful feature that floods areas of an image based on visual boundaries. This means you can quickly fill areas that are not part of the same object with colour. It can be used on any type of object, including quick shapes, text, and hand drawn lines. We'll start by adding a quick grid and click dragging on the page to create the shape. We can then choose the Flood tool from the Drawing toolbar. Then we'll look at the Mid-Tone Color Palette for the various colors we'll be flooding the grid with. We'll start flooding areas of the grid. You will notice that because Select on Create is activated on the Context toolbar, each flood is selected after it is created. By toggling this option off, it will make flooding the areas quicker as we don't have to deselect each one. When each fill is added, Draw Plus creates them as separate vector objects, meaning they can be manipulated like any other object. We can right click them all and add filter effects to give a nice finish to this drawing. We'll add a drop shadow, then a bevel and emboss effect, followed by a reflection effect. We'll reset our colour options and select the Quick Grill. Click dragging it onto the page again. Let's work from the Warmth colour swatch this time, producing a gradient effect across each bar. Now because each flooded area is created as a separate object, we can hold CTRL whilst click dragging to resize each object about its centre and create a staggered effect. Now we'll look at adding boundaries to shapes so we can flood them using different colours. Let's draw a quick zigzag onto the page, then use the pen tool to add two vertical lines so we're separating the shape into three parts. We can zoom in and take our time with these lines to make sure they're accurate. Once we've created the lines, we can then flood the three areas to create a contrasting effect. We can also work with traced shapes from photographs or drawings. All that is required for Draw Plus to create accurate flood areas is to have definitive sections within the drawing. In this example, we can see the separate areas created by the pen tool, which we can then flood with colour. If we are tracing from a source image, a very useful feature is Generate Palette, found on the Context toolbar. Using this tool, we can generate a palette based on colours present in the image which makes it much easier to colour match when flooding the traced version. That's all for now. We've looked at some practical uses for the Flood tool and demonstrated how it can speed up the colour filling process and produce some great results. For more information, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.